Hello guys, I hope this is recording. I just wanted to show you this book that I got. It's been three months, I've been waiting for it. I did not think it was going to arrive. Um, check out the hologram on top of it. There you go. Michael's eyes are moving. Central position. At an angle position. There you go. I wanted to give him proper lighting. It is a very big coffee table book. So it contains many pages printed in Germany, but in English. So I locked out. Actually, this book arrived from the place of my birth. Um, B-A-K-U is the name of the city. It's right on the peninsula. Um of uh, Baku where I was born. I did not think I was going to receive it. It took a while. And um, gosh, I will include all of the details in the links. Well, not in the links, but the description of the book. But the hologram, I always get a kick out of as it is a very heavy book. It is a hardcover. Uh, Michael Jackson, King of Pop. Um, so there's that. And he's got his proper lighting. I do love that light of mine. I don't remember where I got it, but it suits him. It kind of reminds me of the disco environment he was in prior to the Bad Album, as this is the cover in the photograph shot by Matthew Rolston in 1987 for his Man in a Mirror single album. That's where this photo comes from, but uh, yeah, I finally got it and I can't believe I did. It is massively and tremendously beautiful and I will include a few details in it. It is finally in print in English and not in German, although that's where it was printed. And uh, the publisher I will always, always include um, in my post for everyone to see. So yeah, what a surprise that I actually received it from my hometown. I didn't even think it was going to come from my hometown, as the seller did not specify that. But that's where it came from. Can you imagine that? Wow. Imagine the level of the sinking and the serendipity going on there as far as um, having been received from that place of my birth across the ocean, right by the Caspian Sea. So there you go. Gosh, I am so thrilled, so thrilled. I'm sorry for the poor quality. I'm kind of tired. But um, I wanted you to see this and be a little bit happy for me about it because I, I've i lost my hope upon the arrival of this book. And it came in two days ago, no, not yesterday, two days ago, so there you go. It is a hologram of the eyes. Very neat as the photograph itself did serve for many paintings which Michael commissioned to various artists. He selected back then in the 80s and also later in the 90s and throughout his lifetime. I know George, um, Nate Giorgio has a painting of uh, Michael with a specific face of his. I forgot what the, I think it, I think it's Heal the World. I think that was the name of it, of Nate Giorgio's um, artwork, and it was a huge um, oil artwork that he did uh, for Michael in the 80s, and I think, yes, he's still employed by the MJJ estate for um, illustrative purposes, and he did, um, Nate Giorgio did also create the billboards and the inside um, cover chapter pages 
of Michael's humongous op opus book, so he's still on retainer as MJ's main illustrator. Um, there you go. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show it off and kind of brag about it a little bit since I never brag about anything. But have a beautiful day to all of you and lots of magic in the air once again to every single person in this book club and every single MJ fan. L-O-V-E and tons of hugs your way in whichever country you happen to live in. As I do live in the U.S., Kansas City, Missouri, Midwestern area. Michael was a Midwesterner himself. So, there you go. Angular facade. Perfect. Perfectly done. It is a beautiful photo taken by Matthew Rolston, who did photograph Michael in 2009 as well in his silver jacket. Yeah. Phenomenal. Absolutely magnificent photographer. Once again, have a fabulous day to all of you dears. Bookworm dearies.